This is really great tea, don't you guys I, think? I, I was just getting ready to get into it. Yes, sir. Delightful. Absolutely. Really absolutely. Nice, really absolutely. Nice. Uh, uh, are we on? Are we? Uh, hey, all right. Look at that. How is everybody doing? I'm here with Amy Worthen and Jason Kreckle of Mad Tea Party, and we are having a tea party. Woo! Isn't that great? That's great. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, hey, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you for coming on mm. Mount Dungeon. Thanks Absolutely, for man. Thanks here. for having us. Doggone it. So, it's, nice. it's really in, lovely. In the spirit of the tea party, sir, why Mad Tea Party as the name for you guys' band? Uh, I, I came up with the name of the band, and it was really because I relate a lot to the character of Alice in Alice in Wonderland. And when I became a musician, it was sort of like jumping into the rabbit hole. Um, and sometimes I feel really big and confident, and sometimes I feel very small and insecure, kind of like Alice changes her size. And um, usually the things that people around me are saying don't make much sense, kind of like in that in that book. So, um, especially in the music business. So um, that that's sort of where it evolved. Also, I thought it, it, it sounded like it would be fun. Like if I heard that there was a mad tea party in town, I, I would be interested in checking it out. So mm -hmm. that's how I came up with the name. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> so why don't you guys tell me a little bit about the evolution of your sound? Well, uh, we have uh, been around for a long time. We do uh, mostly original music, and uh, you know, depending on uh, whatever kind of music we're into at the moment, kind of dictates our sound. So we've done a novelty jazz record, and we've done an old time country record, and we've done kind of a pop psychedelic sounding record, and and uh, now we're kind of uh, doing more of a, a rock and roll kind of thing on this next record, and and. Uh, yeah. I might have some more sugar. Absolutely. Have more sugar like cubes. That. I've heard many good things said about sugar cubes. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have any other artistic endeavors going on? Funny you should ask, Matt. Yes, Jason. Because I also am involved in the Hand Crank Letter Press downtown Asheville, one of the, fir the actual first uh, letter press in downtown Asheville. And uh, we do performance posters for all types of events, mostly musical. It seems to be our forte. And we're in downtown Asheville. You can find us on handcrankletterpress.com. Thank you very much. And, uh, You're quite welcome. The, the, yes. the nice thing about Hand Crank Letter Press is that it, it's a haven from the happy um, parts of Asheville. That really, if you go in there, you, you get a, a healthy dose of cynicism and uh, sarcasm. I which love is, cynicism which in Asheville, and you know, sarcasm. Is, is, is a desperate thing we, we're always searching for because everyone around us yes. is so happy. Yes, yes. All the time. Somehow, <laughs> uh, Asheville has been declared the happiest town in America. I think it has something to do with <laughs> sure, <Jim>, sure. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Uh, so I got a couple other questions I want to ask you guys. Shoot. If there was, in fact, such a thing as Big Top Soda Pop, what would it taste like? Uh, so Big Top Soda Pop is, is uh, as you obviously know, the title of a song that I wrote and of our last fully release. And I think if you drank Big Top Soda Pop, it would be very sweet and satisfying, but then it would leave you feeling empty afterwards because that song is about authenticity and sort of the illusion of uh, the circus, uh, which when you look behind, when you look behind the curtain, you might see something different than you thought was actually what you were experiencing. Like you never know what's in the sugar cubes. You never know what's in the sugar cubes. Jason's really digging on those sugar cubes. <laughs> But I, I also... I, I think I, you're going to have to watch out for them later. <laughs> I always do. But the, 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 that was another thing that maybe referred a little bit to the music business, being uh, a little bit of smoke and mirrors sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, Amy... But we strive to for authenticity. Excellent. Amy, did you pick the ukulele, or did the ukulele pick you? Well, fancy to ask that... Um, it was very interesting how I, how the ukulele came into my life. It was late one night, and it was dark out. Jason was like all hopped up on sugar, you know, and he wasn't around. And I looked in the sky, and there was a like a ship in the air. And I was like, what is that ship? And I looked in the window, and there was little gray creatures with almond-shaped eyes. And, I, and they were holding something. And I was like, what are they holding? And it looked... First it looked kind of like a guitar, but I'm like, it couldn't be a guitar, they only have three fingers. And then I realized that they were holding ukuleles, and it was the ukuleleans. And they introduced me 
to the ukulele. And I'm receives, very glad that she receives I, direct transmissions. I still receive transmissions from the ukuleles. Mm-hmm. So that was a that was a faithful night in my life. Mm-hmm. So when you play the ukulele, you are in fact channeling powerful cosmic forces. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Guys, this has been a lot of fun. Thank I want to thank you. you. Great thank tea. You. Thank you. Yes, yeah. thanks Cheers. for the tea. Cheers. <laughs> And I want to thank you, the viewer, for sticking around and watching Mount Dungeon. There's other people I want to thank real quick. This is my band.com. They're good to us. I want to thank Gourmet Perks for feeding us. I want to thank the Mad Scientist Tea Party for the tea accoutrements. And that's really all I have to say. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>